so here we go. I'll be honest, it's difficult to be able to thrive academically and also take care of your well-being. It's something you have to be conscious of and actively try throughout. You always have to put your own health, your mental health, your physical health, before your academia. It's really important while you're at university, while you're adjusting to everything, that you definitely take care of yourself first. And it's hard to do that. So I'm gonna give you a few tips and a few things that helped me progress to fourth year. So coming here was a complete culture shock. It took a good amount of time for me to actually adjust. I got so homesick. I would literally be going home like every other week. Bear in mind, I'm a five hour train journey away, which relatively isn't even that far away because there are international students here who are literally time zones away from their families. Regardless of how far you are from home, or even if you're a student from home, living in the city, university life is still something to adjust to. Decorate your room as much as you can. Um, it definitely helps. This is my wall. Um, I used washi tape, um, it's something renter friendly because the tape comes off really easily but make sure, do this with caution if you're gonna do it. I just did a bunch of random lines. Make sure the tape definitely comes off, has no impact on the wall whatsoever because you do not want to leave with a big fee. Bring some plants in your room. I, I had some but I had to take it home for winter time because they were gonna die. But bring some plants, some low maintenance plants like aloe vera, some cactus. Okay, one thing that's really easy to forget is to eat properly when you're at university. I know it sounds silly, but it's common to not really want to make extravagant meals for yourself or cook a lot. And you kind of end up eating like cereal for dinner. The best way to make sure your eating habits are healthy is maybe try some meal plans, look up some new recipes, find things that kind of excite you. On campus, there's also a um, zero waste shop where you can just refill, you can bring your own um, jars, weigh them out, and then refill on like rice, beans, um, a lot of plant-based options. It's also really important to not isolate yourself. At times when you're feeling super stressed, a bit overwhelmed, maybe that's the time for a nice cup of tea with a friend. Um, also, don't feel pressured that you have to socialize. You meeting up with your friends, it should be something you enjoy and it shouldn't feel like a burden. The university tends to keep Wednesday afternoons free, specifically so that you could go do something. <laughs> Something that isn't strictly academia, something like exercise. Joining sports club is also a good way to keep fit and healthy. You don't have to be too intense, it doesn't have to be competitive. Just go and play casually. Or if you want to be more competitive, you, could, you have the option to do so. There are countless of studies saying that exercise in the morning makes you a lot more efficient, more productive on your work throughout the day. Your schedule could be super busy or a little bit more relaxed, but regardless, it's so important that you schedule time for your physical well-being and also for your mental being. So a lot of the students, especially people of colour, may be susceptible to seasonal affective disorder, and that's when you're not getting enough sunlight. If you feel like you're experiencing this, see your GP, you might want to think about taking some supplements or even just going outside for a little bit more and getting as much sunlight as you can because the more melanin you have the harder it is for you to actually take in the vitamin D. It's something I've 100% noticed. The university life itself is stressful. It's something to adjust to and it's something it's a learning curve throughout. You don't have to compensate between thriving academically and also taking care of yourself. There should be no correlation. At times when university is really overwhelming it's super important to actually identify when you need help and the university have a lot of resources for you to do so but it is important that you seek attention from your GP when you feel it is needed. I'm not finished at Edinburgh quite yet, I've still got a few more months here but I'm trying to make the most of what I can and throughout my journey I realised how important well-being truly is. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. 